So my friends, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can turn a quite boring home screen into something a lot more stylish. Now we've done this without the need for jailbreaking. I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step of what I did. So make sure you hit that like button now before you forget and let's crack on. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. Now, as you can see from my desk setup at the moment, I'm going for the black theme. In fact, pretty much everything I've got is either space gray or black, and I think it looks really good. Now, I was on my phone the other day, and I was just scrolling through all of the new iOS 14 home screens, and I genuinely was really impressed with how creative people were being. And this is probably the first time with iOS 14 that you can really change your home screen without jailbreaking your device. But then I came across this one, so I immediately wanted it and I got in contact with the chap and it's a guy called at Traff. His Twitter handle is at T-R-A-F. I'll leave all of the details of how to get this in the description, but I'm also going to show you how to step-by-step -step install it right here. Now the process that I'm going to show you will be the same no matter how you want to change it. So if you don't actually like this setup, you can change it to something different. Now I've gone for a very similar setup using Traff's icons and you know I think it looks pretty good. I'm very happy with it, but I'm going to show you how I did this now. Now the one thing that makes this setup look so good are those icons. He's created these and many more. There is also a light version of this and he's selling it as a combined package including wallpapers as well for a one-off fee of $28. However, with a discount code that he has given to me for my viewers, you can get $5 off and all of the information to get that code will be in the description of this video. Now you don't need to use these icons guys. The process that I'm going to show you will work with different icons which you can download. However, However, I found that he's done a great job creating them, it's not that expensive, and it does look bloody good, and I couldn't find anything as good in my search on the internet. But I'm going to show you a process whether you've got those icons or not. Now we're going to be using two other applications, one of those is the Shortcuts application, and the other is Widgetsmith. So the first thing that I would suggest that you do is the applications that you want featured on the home screen or the first couple of screens, make sure all of those are at the front. So sort out all of the pages. As you can see, I've got around 10 pages on here, but we're going to be cutting that down to just two or three pages and then the app library. And I'll show you that in just a second. So when you're happy with that, press and hold to make all of the applications jiggle and then click on the line of dots at the bottom to bring up the edit pages screen. Now effectively what you're choosing is how many pages are going to be on view. Don't worry, you're not deleting any applications. All of the applications will still be available in the app library. You're just having the optimum number of pages on view. Now any one of those apps that are in the app library can be dragged back onto one of the pages at any point. You literally just highlight it and then drag it on just like so. Okay, so now you need to download the application called Widgetsmith. Now this is just a simple application which has got a couple of nice features in. It's actually quite customizable. You can do a number of different things with it and I'll show you a few of those. Effectively what it has got, which is perfect for our setup here, is a very good calendar or date widget which can be small, medium or large. You can also use things like activity which I'm going to be using on mine. So activity, that was the medium one which I put on. You can also do a large one which will take up the majority of the screen. And then once it's there you can choose what was actually featured but it is fairly limited what is featured within that widget. But it's great if it's activity or date. But I find the large one a little bit too big, so I'm taking that off. You can even have custom text if you wanted to. You could just have someone's name or a slogan, whatever you wanted to have. Okay, obviously all of these widgets look a little bit weird at the moment because we've got that orange background. So we'll go in and change the wallpaper. The wallpaper is also part of the pack that you get from Traff, but again, you can put any wallpaper you want. You don't have to have it as the lock screen. You can have it just as the normal wallpaper background. And as you can see, the black on that background suddenly looks a lot better. So the main workhorse behind this setup is shortcuts. And effectively, it's a little bit like if this, then that. And what we're saying is that if this icon is pressed, then it will open this application. That's a simple setup to what we're doing. I'm going to show you this in pretty much slow motion so that you get it. Once you've done it a couple of times, and I'll show you a couple of times, it's very, very straightforward. Okay, so the first thing that we need to press is the plus in the top right corner. 
We then need to click on Add Action. This will bring up this screen and now we need to click the third one across which is Scripting. And now we want to choose Open App. Once we've clicked on that, it will then give us the option to choose which app. And so click into Choose and that will then bring up the whole list of apps that are installed on your phone. Now, you've probably got your favorite ones already in place like I showed you earlier, so we're going to select just a few of these so that I can show you the process. Okay, so we're going to select Twitter. So we've chosen Twitter, and now we need to click in the top right corner, click on Next. So that will then bring up this screen and we've got to give the shortcut a name. So again, it's obviously Twitter, we need to know what it is, so just call it Twitter and then click on Done. Okay, the shortcut has been made now, but what we want to do is change the icon. So we click into it again, we now click on the three dots in the top right hand corner just underneath Done and then we get this screen. Now we need to click on Add to Home Screen and you can see that it gives us a choice for the home screen name and icon. Click on the actual icon where it says Twitter to the side of it and then it will take you into your photos and you can choose any one of the icons that you've chosen. And again, if you've got different icons, oh by the way guys, look at this spider. Caught this one yesterday. Anyway, so if you wanted that spider, for instance, as the icon, you could choose that. But we're going to be a lot more sensible and go up to the Twitter icon. And we're going to click onto that and click Choose. It does actually go a lot quicker than this, guys. I have slowed this video down by 50%, so as you can follow along if you're doing it. Okay, and you can see now that I've added that to the home screen. So now let's go back out of that, all the way back to the home screen and you'll see that it saved it here, top left corner there, but we need to put that onto the main screen, the first page. So we click on it and hold it, click Edit Home Screen. Again, it will jiggle in the normal way, and then we can drag it to the front page where you're going to want it. Okay, we can just drop it anywhere because we can sort those out afterwards. But now you can see in the bottom right corner, we've also got Twitter still there. So now we need to remove that. So what we do here, click on it and hold it and again we then need to click on edit home screen again as soon as you do that all of the apps will jiggle and they'll display their minus button and then you just click the minus of the twitter and up will come move to app library make sure you don't delete the app just move it to the app library and as you can see now it's gone and it will be in the app library at the back of the iPhone library screen. So now when you click on the Twitter button that you've just created, it will quickly open shortcuts and then go straight into the application. So guys, that's it. That is the simple process to follow for each application that you want to change the icon for. It's very, very straightforward. I'm not gonna bore you by spending the next hour doing it and showing you each application. You get the idea. Now you can use whichever icon you want. I'm obviously using the ones from Traff. Now a couple of other things to bear in mind to get rid of the icons on the very bottom bar. Again, just press and hold and drag them off. You won't delete them. You just need to drag them off and then you can replace those with the applications that you use the most would be my suggestion. So it's really simple for you to feature whatever applications you want permanently on that bar at the bottom. Just drag them down from wherever they are on your home screen and they'll always be there. You can have one, two, three or four. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is use that Widget Smith app to add a calendar and again you can choose a small one which will be something like this and you can just have that in the top left corner or you can look at this one, which is now part of my finished setup. So follow that process, which I've shown you. And as you can see, this then is my setup, which is very similar to Traff's. This is the second page. And if I go a little bit closer and zoom in, you can see that it looks really good. It's very, very simple and I'm pretty happy with it. So guys, I'd be really keen on finding out what your thoughts are on this. Is this something that you'd be interested in? Remember, you don't need to use Traff symbols. You can use your own, you can download your own from various sources, and you can follow the exactly the same process to link your own icons 
to different applications. One thing to mention on my setup here, guys, is I've done a couple of normal widgets. So I've got the battery widget, which is at the top there on the second screen, and I've got the activity widget, which are standard Apple widgets. You don't need to download those from anywhere else. And I think that they look really good. And my third screen is obviously the app library. So I've only actually got two main screens. Guys, thank you so much for watching this. Make sure you check out the link in the description, which will take you to my website, which will give you information about where you can download Traft's icons from. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Thanks for watching.